Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at the Force Pad from Warped Magic. What is it? What is a Force Pad? Well, basically, uh, it's a notepad, right? It's a notepad. Uh, they're about 50 pages in total. The pages are about three inches by four and a half inches. Uh, this is printed out in the United Kingdom. And what this is, is it's a notepad, obviously it's a notepad, but it's a forcing pad. So it allows you to force anything you want. And really, um, there, was no, uh, there was no commercial for this. There's no video teaching. When you buy this, you're buying it as a utility. Uh, it's 22 bucks, 22 bucks and you get two forcing pads. Okay, so they're $11 each if you wanna think about it that way, okay? And uh, you know, and I don't think I'm gonna give anything away because if you go out to the page, if you go out to the page to, to purchase one, they actually tell you what it is, okay? So I don't, I don't think it's an exposure here if I tell you what it is because the ad copy tells you what it is. Um, it's a force pad because it's built up as a long and short. So it's very similar to a Svengali deck or any long and short deck you've ever used. You've got long pages, okay? You have 25 long pages and 25 short pages. So that means when you flip through the book, it's gonna work like a flip book, but every other page. So if you have a forcing image, your spectators won't see it when you flip through the pages one way. And then when you go to do your force, you know, you flip through the pages a second direction and then you would have your force. And so I just think this, there's just so many different possibilities with this when you think about it, because it looks like a simple notepad, but it's gonna allow you to do this very natural, very direct force. And so oftentimes, you know, we force cards but as mentalists, there's so many other opportunities for you to force something, okay? So just off the top of my head, I mean, sure, you could put cards, uh, identities on the pages and you could force a card. It'd be an interesting way to do a card trick without a deck of cards. You could say, hey, I've developed this way to do a card trick, uh, but I don't use a deck of cards, I just use paper. I'm gonna flip through these, you can see they're all different, and then you force your card and then you can do a mentalism or just pull that card out of your pocket. You can say, wow, I don't even have a deck of cards on me. I only keep one card in my back pocket and it is, boom! their card, right? A uh, great way to do a drawing duplication. You just, you know, on every page you've got airplane, house, fish, smiley face, but then on your force pages, all apples, you know, and then you do your force and then you do a drawing duplication. You day draw and you draw instant drawing duplication. Awesome. Uh, force a name, okay? Force someone's name. Great way to uh, do this before you do another trick. So say you're gonna force somebody's name and then uh, you do another mentalism routine but don't reveal yet. And then after that mentalism part, say, oh yeah, you know what? And you were thinking of a name. And see, here's a great opportunity because now people have come over to watch this trick and they didn't even see the first part. So now they're watching you and they're like, a name, what name? And you're like, oh, you know, you thought of a name and it was a name I, I totally didn't, I couldn't have known, but you know, was the name, was it, was the name you're thinking of, was it Amanda? And then bam, everyone who's watching will be like, well, how did he know? How did he grab that piece of information? So another great, uh, Opportunity force numbers, you know, if you, you're doing something with numbers and you want to force a certain number or force a certain day of the week uh, You know, there's that uh, force a certain day of the year Certainly with with 50 pages. There's so many more opportunities there and the pages come to you blank Obviously the pages come to you blank. So you get to pick uh, what you're gonna put on your book and so for two books at 22 bucks, I would say wow I mean buy three or four sets of these and then you can have one of these little notepads for, for so many other things, right? There's just so many different ways uh, that you can make this. These are well-made, totally well-made. They're professionally glued and tape bound. They're perfect for close-up and walk around. You have precision cut pages. Uh, yeah, what, a, what an ingenious idea. I can't wait to get a few more of these. These are so easy to use and so well disguised. Get ready to pull off some unbelievable mentalism. All right, so that is my review for the force pads from Warped Magic. I want to thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase the force pads from Warped Magic for yourself, you can find them at your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks. Bye.